again, as I mentioned, they are not going to do anything that is frightening or upsetting to people, contrary to what the popular myth is. They're extremely kind and very compassionate and sensitive to that. And so that's why the ability to get into this deep state of cosmic mind and experience cosmic consciousness and remain there uh, centered in, in this pure state of awareness is the doorway that opens up the possibilities of uh, contact up to and including uh, a full meeting and diplomatic meeting with humans and these visitors. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for us to be at that level of coherence and unity and peace and then everything's possible. Any questions about the protocols before we start the... We're going to do a short meditation that sort of demonstrates what I've described. Of course, we're not going to be playing the tones during the meditation. We don't. It's just silence. But about the concept of what we're doing. Great circle. One of the things I like to do, my wife gave me one year for our anniversary this Tibetan prayer bowl. And again, tones are very important. And pure harmonic tones have an effect in consciousness. And this is, of course, a mantra, is the sound component of thought. Uh, and uh, this is why in every society, in every culture, there's this uh, theme of tones or chanting or sound as a way of, open, of, of having the mind become centered and pure. So I'd like to start out with this. And the way to use this, I'll, I'll be ringing this bowl as we're sitting with our eyes closed. And follow the tone. Let your mind just rest on the tone. Don't try to strain. Just let it come into your mind and let it rest. And let the tone just be a point of focus, lightly focusing. And you will find that even after I've finished ringing it, it will continue to be heard in consciousness and follow it to the point of extinction, to where it ends. And you will find that you're at that point of deep consciousness where you can become aware of the mind that's watching the tone. And then we'll start the meditation, the guided meditation. Everybody understand what to do with this tone? So I'll ring it, sit quietly, and be comfortable, and you can close your eyes.
sitting in deep silence. Become aware of the mind, the consciousness, perceiving sound, light, thoughts, self. And see that the spirit of this mind, the essence, of this pure awareness is an omnipresent, silent ocean of conscious light, clear, calm. And dive deeply in a state of perfect relaxation and peace into this unbounded mind. See that each of us are awake and this silent aspect of the mind is universal. And that our individualities are like a pure crystalline snowflake, each of us unique. And yet, the light of consciousness within us, which illumines our own being, is one. And we feel the joy and the love of this great being shining within each of us. And as we dive more deeply into this infinite ocean of consciousness, we behold that all perceptions, all beings, all matter, all worlds, are like waves rising and falling, forming and dissolving from this vast ocean, this awake mind whereby we are awake at this moment. With complete freedom now, Go into the innermost silent part of this infinite being and watch as the waves of perception rise and fall and see that this is our true being, eternal beyond the limits of time, infinite, beyond the confines of space. And so it is that all that exists emerges from this unbounded mind, rising and returning to it. And this awake mind whereby we are conscious right now is that single light of cosmic awareness. And so we see that each person in this room is awake and this awake mind is one. And we are all one in spirit. And that even our bodies and our bodies of light 
and the pure tone of our individual self. Is this conscious being phasing, resonating as our individualities? And we are all struck at the beauty and the peace of being in this eternal home. And we see the earth beneath our feet and the sky above us is all consciousness. Because this mind is omnipresent we may see any place and any time. On the wings of this unbounded mind, let us soar then into the sky above us. And as we rise above this hotel, we see Los Angeles receding and the Pacific Ocean to our west and the mountains to the east and the lights of the city are shining and as we go up into the atmosphere we now see the curvature of the earth and we behold the entire earth a beautiful orb perfect, shining, spinning within this unbounded being of cosmic mind. And we see the earth is conscious and she is awake. And we feel the infinite and unconditional love of earth for each of us, her children. And gazing into Father Sky, we see the other planets and the moon and our star, the sun. And we see them emerging, coalescing, manifesting from this cosmic mind, swimming in an ocean of pure consciousness and light. And as we expand further, with complete freedom, we go into interstellar space and we behold the Milky Way galaxy, a beautiful spiral galaxy with billions of star systems and countless planets with civilizations and people and life. And now effortlessly we expand further and with the fullness of cosmic mind behold intergalactic space and billions of galaxies stretching in all directions forever, infinite, boundless. And the awake mind, whereby we are conscious at this moment, is one and always inseparable from the cosmic mind from which this entire cosmos is manifesting. And seeing beyond the crossing point of light and matter and space, we behold the astral and etheric realm shining beautiful lights astral worlds, endless, infinite, light. 
And at the finest level, we behold a celestial light, the most great light, the first emanation of form and light emerging from the infinite silent mind, the same mind whereby we are awake at this moment. And passing beyond this finest celestial light, we hear this pure tone, the aggregate tone of all form, the sound of the cosmic being, the primal thought emerging as sound, manifesting stars worlds, beings, people. And with this pure tone emanating from the edge of eternity, transcending the finest tone, we see the great being the absolute, unbounded mind shining, manifesting the entirety of the cosmos. Being thus established in this unbounded being, we gaze throughout the heavens and effortlessly we allow our minds to perceive those civilizations capable of being aware of earth and visiting earth. And we see there are many. And we see that in deep space there is an interplanetary center. And we ask permission to enter this facility. And as we enter, we gaze into the eyes of those extraterrestrial people and we see them watching us and they see earth and we invite them in this spirit of cosmic being acknowledging we are all one people one conscious life emanating from this unbounded self. And as ambassadors from Earth to their people, we welcome them here in a spirit of universal peace. And with our inner sight opened, connecting to them and to their spacecraft, and their communication systems. We show them our location. And we show them the beauty of our Milky Way galaxy. And on one of the outer spiral arms, the sun. And as we zoom in to our solar system, We show them the third planet from the sun with her single moon. And as we grow much closer to Earth, we see North America, which is now in the darkness of night. 
And as we approach the west coast of North America, we show them the cities of Southern California and the Los Angeles Basin. And this hotel near the airport. And we invite them here and in whatever way is safe and appropriate for them at this time and place. Now we will sit in silence, continuing this protocol for a few moments. And if at any time you become distracted, return to the perception of silent mind and then effortlessly see with your inner vision and invite these visitors here. <laughs> 